Hey guys, Titan here, and welcome back to Command and Conquer. When we last left off with our GDI forces, we were um, saving a village that has come under Nod attack. So, uh, I think the first thing we're going to have to do on this mission is turn down the bloody game speed. Because <clears throat> this one we have very limited resources, and things can go south very, very quick. Uh, I reckon, maybe, oh god. Something like that, just so we can uh, get some shit done here. Right, options, resume mission. First thing we're going to do is load up our... Oh, actually, first thing we're going to do is repel this attack. Hopefully without losing too many men. Guys, you do not have to swarm them like this. Or throw grenades at yourselves. In fact, I would rather you did not throw grenades at yourselves. There we go. Okay, good enough. Let's load our dudes up into our APCs. Yeah, this is the first time we get to see APCs. APCs are pretty good. They're actually um, probably the best scout unit in the game. They have the highest vision range. Um, their guns aren't too bad. And they can transport infantry. <coughs> They're also really good at uh, running down men. But loading them up with infantry in this game is extremely fiddly. And it doesn't really work very well either. But that's okay. I don't really remember um, being able to do this in any RTS prior to this game. But then I never really had too much experience with prior RTS games until... Um, <sighs> until after this game. Uh, it was years later that I started getting into other ones. I never did get into Warcraft or Starcraft uh, the way I got into this one. Because of uh, limited unit selection and, and limited resources. Just stuff like that. And I know technically this game has limited resources as well, but I don't think it was as bad as Warcraft or Starcraft. Right, let's gun it to the village. Right, damn the torpedoes and full speed ahead. Now if we use alt, we can force move, which is very useful. Although the Humvee can't force move. That guy is quite injured, which is a bit of a problem. Right, no, they barricaded us in. Force move, force move. Ah, this is not going well. Yeah, that's okay, just gun it. Gun it, gun it. I think we might lose those men. But there's nothing we can do about it now. Let's just cheese it to the village. Okay, so the first thing we want to do now we've got to the village is get everybody out and organize the defense. Get in there, boys! Okay. Yeah, we're. Kind of host here, I think. Let's block the path to the village up. We need to get rid of these medium tanks, uh, light tanks. I always call them medium tanks. Because that is going to be the biggest problem for us. Because they will squash our men. Luckily, can bottleneck them up behind an APC. Uh, you know, attack whenever you want, guys. You know, don't don't feel that you're obligated to defend your lives. Yes, sir. There we go. Right, let's wait for these fuckers to come to us now. Job done! Oh no, maybe job is not quite yes, done. Sir. We still have another light tank Moving here. Out. Light Over. tanks are a problem because they will just crush your infantry. But hopefully... We can just about pull it off. We don't want them to get too close. We keep dancing around them. Alright, pull back. You can use X to scatter your men, but it's not exactly super reliable. There we go. Nice. Right, mop these guys up. Let's try and minimize civilian casualties if we can. And again, I know I'm going to say this in every single video of this game, but how good is this music? 
This game is so 90s it hurts. In a good way. Alright, defend the church! We need somewhere for our men and our civilians to get their false beliefs. There we go. Lovely. And that's pretty much a wrap. Okay. Now we can go back up to uh, that. I really wish there was a better way of uh, increasing and decreasing the, the speed. I don't think plus and minus does anything. No, usually you can turn the game speed up and down with plus and minus in some of these guys. Uh, some of these guys, some of these games. But no, not in this one, unfortunately. Right, kill you. Come on, asshole. Your murderous days are over. Right, just a few more to hunt down. And then it's all gravy, baby. Not too bad at all. Oh, hello. Um, okay, these guys are derped out. Usually when this happens, it's because they're trying to get somewhere. And their pathfinding is fucked up. But we can use that to our advantage. They're probably trying to get a building over here. Uh, but they, they can't work out how to get there. So they're just like derped out in the corner. It does actually happen to your men as well. Um, but obviously being human... Oh, it's happened to these guys as well. Being human... Usually, we're smart enough to, to catch it. I say usually. You know, this is me we're talking about. I'm hardly the smartest person on the planet. But I'm trying, damn it. I'm trying. I'm getting old. That's my excuse. Yes. In eight years, I shall be 40 years old. There's a worrying thought. Okay. There's got to be one turd hiding around somewhere. Some little naughty noddy. Sitting somewhere shitting his pants, sucking his thumb. Oh, there you are. All right there, buddy. Thinking about where you went wrong in life? Ooh, there's got to be more than one. Where would you be? Playing this game in this resolution doesn't help. Because I play on a 46 inch TV. And I'm quite far away from it. So everything is teeny, teeny, teeny tiny. But I can tell you one thing. I never dreamed of this when I was a kid. That I would uh, basically have the whole map running at once. It is glorious. And a very young, um, say, oh, I don't know, how old would I have been? Say, 10 year old Titan would have shit himself. If he could see it now. Hmm. We are certainly missing someone from somewhere. Where are you? I do hate it when this happens. Luckily, this is extremely rare that this happens. Must be over here. Okay, yep, yep. There they are. There they are. Pull back. Pull back, man. Get the vehicles out of the way. I said get the vehicles out of the way. Or, you know, run them down. That will do nicely. Good enough. Let's try the force move. Alt. I like it when a plan comes together. War torn What's a happy farming town for peace loving peasants? Today, peace loving peasants. Yet one more casualty in the insane GDI assault against mankind. Yet another in a series of villages wiped off the earth by the Global Defense Initiative and its misguided leader, General Mark Shepard. Mm. And what crime did Bialystok commit to warrant such carnage? Sources indicate that GDI terrorists were convinced that this simple hamlet was involved in the manufacture and shipping of Tiberium. Manufacturing Tiberium? Said, Tiberium. Only what? one General Shepard and his vision of one world order has stopped. This is Greg Burdett. Oh, that doesn't sound like our beloved general. Excellent. Now, do it again in French and German. I want 300 copies made and sent to every TV station in Europe. We have the satellite for another 10 minutes. Is that camera still running? 
Kane. I love Kane. Kane's such a cool character. Now, interesting thing about that scene. Um, that green screen uh, setup that you just saw there, that was actually their studio. Um, and they were one of the only uh, developers back then that had their own green screen setup. Which is very impressive, which is why they were so FMV heavy in their games. Um, when they actually finished production of this game, they had was it 1.6 terabytes of uncompressed video, uh, apparently, so they say. Which, if you think that was... I always go to put in my old name. Um, if you think that that was back in 1995, that is incredibly impressive. Seriously. So, I'm guessing this smear campaign of theirs is going to have drastic repercussions on our beloved core. Never mind. I'm sure we shall persevere. Should we go top or bottom? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Let's go bottom. Germany. Let's go save Germany. Hey, Mark. Why all of it? GDI wouldn't slaughter children. Was Bialystok at Tiberium Center? Maybe. Isn't this another incident of GDI reacting to incorrect information? Another one. Any comment? Should GDI funding be cut? No. That would be stupid. However, it looks like they cut our funding anyway. When will they learn? Hmm. Looks like we're in the dark. Hopefully we can find something to do around here. Come on, Eva. Give us something. Must be something hidden. Ah, in Las Vegas. What have you found? GDI funding discontinued. Oh dear. Security access denied. Initiating tactical isolation procedure. So indeed, it is a black day for GDI. Well, we'll have to continue fighting the best we can without money or resources. Publicity from Nod Media Manipulation has resulted in United Nations investigation into GDI activities. Well, that's fine, but why cut all of our funding? On 23 July at 1844 Zulu, by a 9 to 3 vote, the UN Ways and Means Committee suspended all GDI funding pending outcome. Do they really just fall for that? Nod forces severely damaged GDI base in your area. Critical shortage of weapons and manpower. Find GDI base and return it to operational status. We will try with our limited resources. <clears throat> Really can't afford to lose a base in our current situational um, situation, I should say. Yeah, sometimes they do repeat these FMVs as well, but which is kind of interesting that they did that, considering the uh, the budget this game had, which was fairly you know impressive at the time. Never mind. Oh boy, this mission. can be quite interesting, should we say. Let's go for... Uh, uh, come on. GDI. Dyslexia there. Right, let's save it here. We are going to fight off this first attack, apparently. Load our dudes up. Oh, we only have one APC. Oh, that's awkward. But we do now have two medium tanks. Medium tanks are okay. They're uh, basically your your main battle unit for the game. Um, useless against vehicles. Totally useless uh, against infantry, I should say. They're they're anything but useless against vehicles. In fact, they are extremely capable against vehicles. Um, but infantry, they suck. Right, so what have we got to work with? Not much. 
Right, let's get as much back as we can. Let's get this base back up to speed. Try and organize some kind of defense here. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Oh god, I didn't even notice that guy there. The resolution's so small. Right, it's not bad. Oh god, uh, we cannot lose that. If we lose that, it's over. And because of the pathfinding, he's going to go all the way around. Right, let's get you down here. If we lose him, we're finished. And it looks like we're going to lose him. Yeah, we're basically screwed here. So, let's load that. Nobody saw that. <coughs> right. Not gonna bother loading men up. Sort of just mad charge. I mean, it looks like there's actually a better way to go down here. There we go. Let's get everyone down here. We're gonna lose a medium tank by the look of things. Here we are. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can we have this base, please? Thank you. Right, you don't be. Come here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Back. Attack. Alright, let's get rid of that. Yeah, I can see our base is under attack. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Right, let's find that Tiberium. You know what? Just grab that. Hopefully, things are going to be okay from here on out. Need to pay close attention to our harvester. Yes, sir. Okay. Get some men yes, sir. in both directions. Out. Yes, sir. That out. tank is also heavily damaged, but it. it's not a great deal we can do about that right now. Um, let's Building. let's get some grenadiers. Unit ready. Unit it's going to be very slow going to start Unit with, because resources Unit are going to be an issue. Right, you guys, go protect that. Let's pull our tank back. Organize somewhat of a defense. Right, let's kill these guys. Um, their rocket troops are going to be an issue, I think. Okay, cool. That will do for now. Let's have a little look around. So this is ours, basically. We have an extended base. So they're going to come from... Ah, oh, shit, really? Uh, tank, do you want to get in there? That's where their harvester is. That's good to know. Right, they're coming from both angles. Oh boy. This one is going to be interesting. Now this level's kind of bullshit. Because they will periodically um, get men sent to them. They will get vehicles and uh, infantry sent in on a timer if memory serves. Which is kind of sucky. Because obviously we only have our Tiberium and once our Tiberium is gone we're shit out of luck. Right. That should be a sufficient defense. I say should. Right, need to be very careful with these guys. Now the good thing about grenadiers is they do confuse the enemy, which is quite nice. Oh no, no, I say. Okay, having your men run over is massively problematic, as you can see. Building. Right. Building. Unit ready. Building. We possibly Unit could ready. use Building. a Humvee to scout with. Building. Because at the moment the Humvee is cheaper. Don't go up there, you stupid bastard. Go there. Uh, game controls. Let's turn the speed up. Right. 
Although it doesn't really make too much difference. Let's get you over here. Really need to take the harvester out, but we don't have the capability to do that at the moment. This could be a slightly longer video. Right. Let's get that hammer. Construction okay, good enough. Uh, Grandiers. Right, let's explore. Turn the speed down so it's a little bit more manageable. Right to Mr. Humvee, let's go see what we can find. Uh, I'm not hopeful. I'm pretty sure the only thing you're going to find is a not so swift death. Ah, he's targeting the Humvee. That's good. So there's more. Yeah, you can tell what the tanks are targeting by the turret, depending on what they're looking at. We could go kick the hornet's nest by attacking the harvester, but that will result in our demise. So it's not overly wise. Very limited on Tiberium here. Or at least very limited on the Tiberium that we have access to. So that's their base. Good to know. Right, get him out of there! Alright, let's pull him back. Now luckily, we can kind of bottleneck these guys. To a degree. How well we're going to be able to bottleneck, I'm not sure. There we go. That should be fairly good. Actually, ooh, what we could do, I wonder... I don't know if we can do this in this one. Uh, yeah, that's not bottlenecking them very well at all. Alright, let's take out that tank. And then we can think about how we're going to act. Now, in some Command & Conquer games, on some levels, you can destroy the bridges. That way, we won't have to split our forces. Although, it doesn't appear to be working that well here. No. I think they introduced that in... Um, in Red Alert 2. So that's disappointing. No, pull them back. We are going to lose our medium tank. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can destroy that, sadly. Building. <coughs> Would have been nice. Unit ready. Building. Let's mix Unit in some minigunners, because minigunners are cheap. Unit ready. Building. What is that there? That's a medium Unit tank. Ready. Building. Okay. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Ready. Let's turn the game speed up a little bit. They're, I hope they're not going that way. Um, no. What we could idealistically use is getting rid of that SAM site. Because we can get air support on this mission. Pretty much every mission we can get air support if we destroy the uh, SAM sites. That's kind of what uh, GDI's main strength is. Finances are an issue here, as you can see. All we can do is keep amassing our army. We're going to have to spend considerable time massing our army as well. Alright, let's push these guys up. Let's hold this area. We've got a Hummer there. In fact, the Hummer really can go back up this area. You guys go back that defensive position up. Alright, they can go there. That should... Hang on, who's injured? Got injured dudes there. You get out of there. You're too injured to be of any use. You're just going to explode and kill everybody. Which is counterproductive to our operation, goddammit. There we go. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Building. 
Yeah, you really don't get many grenadiers to the dollar. Or the credit in this game, because this game is credits. As soon as, ooh, as soon as we're able, we're going to smash their harvester and that. I wonder if we can send a small group. Um, let's see if we can send these guys around to soften up their defenses. Let's probe. They should have. Oh, actually, there's quite a lot of Tiberium here. Not too shabby. Ah, okay. So now we've got a better understanding of the map. I don't like... I don't like how close... That... That... Uh, Sam is to their base. Hopefully, we can get this done. Can't really afford to lose. Come on. Should be able to just... Ah, shit. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back to defensive positions. We are going to lose the medium tank. Unless we're... Quite lucky here. I would say we were pretty lucky there. Right. Let's maximise this guy whilst we have him. Really need to get rid of that. Right. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Pull these guys back. Get them out of there. We should almost have enough for an attack. We're only really going to have one shot at this. We're going to have to cause enough of a distraction. Right. Actually, I know what we're going to do. I know how we're going to fuck these guys over. We want an APC. And we're going to fill the APC up with engineers, and then we're going to bum rush in whilst the confusion of these guys is uh, is going on. We're going to bum rush an engineer full of APCs. An engineer full of APCs? Yes! Yes! We shall give that a go. We'll bum rush an engineer full of APCs in there and cause some havoc. The only trouble is, this is a very expensive plan that's going to require a lot of time. I mean, we should have enough guys there to really cause some damage. Attempt to go see if we can gut their base with what we've got. Nice. Right, that's the APC done. Engineers are 500 each. They're extremely expensive. But they're kind of worth it in a lot of ways. Alright, let's get rid of you. And you. Alright, pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Really don't want to... Piss on their fireworks. Or should we piss on their fireworks? Let's give it a go. Come on. Let's get rid of their tanks. Tanks are going to be the biggest problem here. It's okay. Right, let's get rid of you. I don't know. I've got a good feeling about this, actually. Let's get rid of the refinery. Okay, we might be able to finish them off with this, actually. Get rid of that. Haha, we don't need the engineers. Excellent. Fuck you guys. Managed to... Uh oh. Okay. Right. 
Let's destroy that because unfortunately it's not quite enough. Where is right, let's get rid of that. Where is uh oh get rid of that now? Where is their construction yard? Although at least this is kind of running them out of cash. Target. Reporting, yes. Building. Lovely. Yeah, they're bone now. They're selling their buildings now. You can tell when the AI's fucked because they start selling their buildings. Not really a very smart idea. Done. Okay, I guess we actually had enough to do this earlier. Right, now they're going to bum rush us with everything they have left, which includes their harvesters, which for obvious reasons is not fantastic. Pull everyone back. Oh, really? Yeah, you need to be really careful because your men are that stupid. Right, let's go to town on their harvesters. Harvesters are fantastic at killing your infantry. Because they have rather large squishy wheels. The engineer's just going to stand there and take grenades to the face like a champion. Okay, not bad. Alright, well we don't know where the last enemy is, so let's chuck out a couple of Humvees and go scouting. Yeah, Tiberium is quite an issue in this game, as you can see. Right, now there's got to be a couple of enemy men left somewhere. Usually they're behind trees. Because they're little shit bags like that. Well, they might be up behind here actually. There won't be any Sams left because we've already got the airstrikes. Ah, oh, the music! The music! It's so good! Oh, hello. Ah, I see. It's a little gun turret. Let's send in the flyboys. The single flyboy. Does next to nothing. Um, okay. That's sucky. Of all the things to be left, I don't think you can capture. No. We have burnt the tree down, so we can now see it. So that's a thing that's happened. In an ideal world, we'd send our tank up against it, but our tank would just get flatlined. So it's literally held together with duct tape at the moment. We can't... Uh, we can't really get our men up to it. The only way we can get our men up to it is through this way. The Tiberium is overgrowing. Usually I wouldn't care, but our, um, our men are so weak and uh, our economy is so bad because we've only got one harvester. Building. Unit ready. Building. We Unit do have to be ready. quite careful. Yes, sir. That should be more than enough. By a, a mile. No point engaging it with you because you're just fodder for a gun turret. Because gun turrets are strong against vehicles. Whereas GDI's uh, defensive turret is strong against infantry. There we go. Supreme victory. Well, okay, maybe not supreme. Supreme victory, but uh, we did all right. I am happy with our performance. Could have been smoother, could have been quicker, but that mission's always a little bit of a bastard. This is a cool cinematic. Symbolism at its finest. The eagle takes the scorpion. There we go. How long did that take? One hour nine. Wow. Yeah, our score sucked donkey balls. But, oh, the casualties. Ah, oh, that's a lot of letters home, guys. That's a lot of letters home. Still, we did what needed to be done. Never mind. Anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to end this video. Thank you very much for watching. When we return, um... Well, I'm just going to uh, keep playing GDI. 
But I think I will alternate between the nod and um, and the GDI videos, I think. I think that's the best way to do it. So, till then, guys. Thanks for watching.